Good day, everyone, and thank you for joining us on The Business Report. I'm Denise Williams, your guide through the latest happenings in the world of business. The Bank of Jamaica is reporting that there were 407,534 credit cards in circulation at November 2023. That represented a 6.2% increase compared to the end of November 2022. In its annual report, the central bank says 33.58 million credit card transactions were processed by deposit-taking institutions valued at 893.52 billion Jamaican dollars. These figures represented a decline in volumes of 5.6%. The overall value increased, however, by 10.7% relative to the same period in 2022. Cygnus Real Estate Finance says it has closed the sale of two investment properties from its portfolio. In a release, the company said the lands located at 56 and 58 Lady Musgrave Road were sold at what it described as attractive valuations. The sums were not disclosed. The company says this reflects its strategic focus on maximizing returns for its shareholders. Cygnus says the proceeds from the sale will support the company's second investment life cycle. Sydney Thwaites, president of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, says the organization is resolute in building a robust manufacturing community in Jamaica. He was speaking at the JMEA Manufacturer 360 Degrees Conference held at the AC Hotel Kingston yesterday, May 8. According to JMEA, up to November last year, the manufacturing sector accounted for gross value-added output of 71.4 billion Jamaican dollars compared with 67.4 billion Jamaican dollars for 2019 in its 12-month entirety. Domestic exports from manufacturing for January to November 2023 was valued at 794.4 million Jamaican dollars. Employment in manufacturing also has grown, moving from 78,775 persons to over 84,000 persons last year. During trading on May 8, 2024, the following companies valued at 500 million Jamaican dollars or more in assets represented the overall volume leaders in terms of equity sales on the main market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Alternative energy supplier Wigton Wind Farm Limited ordinary shares with 2,248,806 units amounted to 37.4% of the market volume on the main market in terms of sales. Toll Road Operator Trans Jamaica Highway Limited with 690,330 units amounted to 11.48% of the market value on the main market in terms of sales. Debt financing firm Cygnus Credit Investment Limited JMD Ordinary Shares with 505,038 units amounted to 8.4% of the market volume on the main market in terms of sales. During trading on May 8, 2024 on the Jamaica Stock Exchange, the following companies represent the overall volume leaders in terms of sales of equity on the junior stock market with companies valued at 50 million or more in asset value. Fosterich Company Limited with 353,541 units amounting to 19.51% of the market volume on the junior market in terms of sales. One Great Studio Company Limited with 270,376 units amounted to 14.92% of the market volume on the junior market in terms of sales. Stationery and Office Supplies Limited with 228,034 units amounted to 12.58% of the market volume on the junior market in terms of sales. Stationery and Office Supplies Limited with 228,034 units amounted to 12.58% of the market volume on the junior market in terms of sales. 
of the market volume on the junior market in terms of sales. Over on the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange, trading on May 8, 2024, registered a volume of 195,652 shares crossing the floor of the exchange valued at 1,934,630 Trinidad and Tobago dollars and 56 cents. NCB Financial Group Limited was the volume leader with 76,000 shares changing hands for a value of 207,200 Trinidad and Tobago dollars, followed by Massey Holdings Limited with a volume of 72,598 shares being traded for 307,967 Trinidad and Tobago dollars and 20 cents. Moving from the money moves of investors, executives, and companies, we turn to the Forex market. On May 8, 2024, the Bank of Jamaica reported that US $84.5 million was bought from Forex traders, while US $70.2 million was sold to Forex traders. Buying directly from the Bank of Jamaica, Foreign currency traders sold the US dollar for $157.50 and bought US dollars for $156.16. The difference between the buy and sell rate was $1.34, which represents a profit for Forex traders for every US dollar traded. Canadian Forex traders earned a trading profit of $0.31 cents from transactions at the Bank of Jamaica. The Canadian dollar was sold at $115.22 and bought for $114.91. For traders looking at the British pound, they pocketed a profit of $3.55, selling it for $195.54 and buying it for $191.99. For our credit report tip of the day, it is critical that you demonstrate financial stability. Lenders look for borrowers who demonstrate financial stability and responsibility. If this is your first time buying a home, you can strengthen your mortgage application by showcasing consistent employment history, stable residence, and responsible financial behavior. This stability reassures lenders of your ability to manage mortgage payments effectively. And with that, we wrap up today's business report. I'm Denise Williams. Appreciate your company. Stay well informed, stay ahead of the curve. Until our next update, take care.